Final point I'll finish with is to touch on the drug overdose crisis. Sadly, the drug overdose crisis is worse now than it has ever been. This is true in Rhode Island, and it's true in many other places across the country. Rhode Island's overdose numbers peaked in 2016 and then steadily declined over the next few years. Earlier in 2020, we started seeing increases. We're now on a path to exceed our 2016 total by more than 25%. In July, we had more overdose deaths than in any single month since we started tracking the overdose crisis. These are precious lives. The stressors and isolation of the COVID-19 pandemic have certainly contributed to these numbers. But we also started seeing increases in the first three months of the year before COVID-19 significantly changed the way that we live. Other factors that are probably contributing to the increase are polysubstance use using more than one type of drug and the presence of fentanyl in drugs like cocaine, counterfeit pills, methamphetamine, and other substances. Counterfeit pills, which often look like prescription medications, are in greater supply throughout the country, unfortunately. Just one of these pills, just one, can cause a fatal overdose. We want everyone to know that there is help and there is hope for everyone who is living with the disease of substance use disorder. BH Link is open and available. This is Rhode Island's 24-7 behavioral health hotline. If you call 401-414-LINK, 401-414-5465, you will get connected to trained professionals who can provide confidential counseling, referrals to treatment, and support services. People can also go to BH Link's drop-in center to get connected to support. It's located at 975 Waterman Avenue in East Providence. Additionally, fire stations in Providence, Newport, and Woonsocket are safe stations. They are open every day to help people in crisis get connected to a peer recovery support specialist and treatment and recovery support services. We want every door to treatment and support and recovery to be open to you. For everyone else, if you think someone is overdosing, call 911 immediately. The Rhode Island Good Samaritan Law protects people legally who call for help. Also, carry the overdose reversal medicine, naloxone, of also called Narcan, and know how to use it. Naloxone is available at pharmacies without a prescription, and it's easy to use as a nasal allergy spray as well. In the same way that we have the power to stop the spread of COVID-19, we can also prevent overdose deaths. These are two preventable health issues. <laughs>